Oh, all right, you want to hear the Wayne Perry story? A B. I'm gonna give you the Wayne Perry story. All right, they just moved me over there to the uh, 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 from 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 the maximum, 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 maximum security unit to put me over in another joint. Where at the first joint, I stayed in the cell all day. Came out one time a day for three days. Dude sees Wayne Perry. Wayne Perry got all these murders. The whole prison scared of him. The, the, the staff. We're in ADX. So now they petrify the Wayne. Yeah, I mean, literally petrify the Wayne. So just from this dude, he's in a whole nother unit, but he can see Wayne. But he's in the other side of the jail, but he can see Wayne. We got dude see Wayne Perry way on the other side. So me and Wayne sitting over there, and I'm telling Wayne, yo, I see that dude look like he telling the police something and pointing at you. And Wayne said, man, I don't even know that. And, and I said, yo, but he telling the people something. And Wayne's like, I don't know. What could he tell him? I don't know. I'm just glad to be out the cell all day to be able to come out here where now we eat three times a day. We eat on the on the flats where we come out the cell. We eat for 30 minutes and then we go back in the cell. But at least we get to come out to eat now. We normally bring the food in there. So he glad to come out. He said, man, I'm not even thinking on that dude. So now we're sitting there. Here go the dude. The police come walking in the unit and call Wayne to the gate. You know what I mean? And told him to package this. So I go up there because I'm not standing for none of that. I said, no, where the hell we going? Oh no, um, um, the lieutenant want to see him. No, nah, lieutenant don't need to see him. That nigga there just told him something. So that's why they want to see him. That nigga there just told him something. You know what I mean? So they said, well, who's you? You from DC? I said, nah, I ain't from DC, but I hustled in DC. Yeah, I hustled in Southeast. I did what I did down there. Now, now what they got to do with anything? You know what I mean? Because I mean, you know, I know Wayne and them from the street. You know what I mean? We got come on, dog. So now I'm like, nah, dog. So I said, yo, Wayne, what, what you trying to do? I'm there for rides in, in Lewisburg. So right now I got the buck in me. I'm ready to fight. Y'all they want to tear it up. Let's tear it up. So I'm telling Wayne, yo, what you gonna do, man? You know what I mean? We already in 88. What they gonna do with us? And he said, nah, they can't do nothing. I don't know that. You know what I mean? I said, dude, make the call before they move you, cause whatever you're trying to do, I'm rolling with you. You understand what I'm saying? So he's like, nah, man, let me go see what they want. They come over there. He didn't know the dude, so he figured he's safe. So when he come over there, Wayne said, yo, what's up? And they said, nah, um, we gotta lock you up because dude said that you got in a fight with his homie. I mean, no, um, your homie got in a fight with his homie and you was in the yard and he seen you out the window. So now that he's in the in the unit with you, even though he's not on the side where you at and he got all these bars protecting him, he feels uncomfortable. He feels uncomfortable with you over here. You understand what I'm saying? So we gotta lock you up until we investigate and find out what's going on. So now they grab the big homie and they take him and they take him to the shoe. 20 minutes later, they come back. They go get this nugget and ass because they already knew they was going to kill him. I don't know how he laughed at 20 minutes over there. To be honest, only really laughed at 20 minutes over there because nobody knew that what, what they really did. It's just that I was sitting there with Wayne, so I peeked the whole move. So now they come and they grab the dude and, you know, the, 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 the dude from, uh, what was he from? Like Portland, Oregon. Not disrespecting Portland, Oregon, but that's where the homie was from. So the dude from out Portland, Oregon. So I'm like, yo, what kind of time is this? Y'all just going to take it and get a word for it? You know what I mean? So then I remember Wayne said that he, he, he don't he don't even know the dude. So I'm telling the I'm telling the COs, you know what I mean? I mean correction officers. I'm telling the COs, yo, now nah, hold up, man. I homie don't even know the dude, man. He was never even with the dude here and never with the dude nowhere. So how you gonna lock the homie up on some boost and you ain't got nothing from him? And they're like, yo, come on, unique. We know who you are. We don't want no trouble. We don't need no more rides. We can't afford to have that here because you know this is maximum security prison. Y'all ain't supposed to be out. We try to say, I don't give a damn about none of that. Where you taking my homie? And that's where we at. So now I'm asking, where you taking the homie? So Wayne tell me, yo, you, just fall back, man. I'm just going back because these people ain't over here. They ain't going to act right. But I mean, you know, this, this, this is where it's at. So they take a homie based on what somebody else said. You understand what I'm saying? No proof. No, no, they was never in a unit together. He's telling them that, that, that Wayne's homie did legal work, stomped out the dude, you know what I mean, in the yard, and Wayne was in the yard, and he seen it out the window. I made my first million. First thing I had in mind, Giovanni, was I'm getting ready to go see Mom Dukes, set up with a nice house, and it's a wrap. You know what I mean? I'm riding down uh, down Eighth Avenue. I'm feeling good as hell. I just got this charcoal bang, uh, charcoal gray, uh, 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 300e, and, and, and got the tinted windows and all that. And I'm cruising, and I'm and I'm playing that that joint, that uh, Frankie Beverly. Before I let go, joint. Before I let go, of this motherfucker million, you got to kill me or lock me up. And why did I have that damn dog? So enough, here come behind me the police sirens. The police sirens come behind me. They pull me over. I got a million dollars in the trunk. They take my goddamn million dollars and ask me, what do you want? You want to go to jail or you want to give us this money? I told the man, keep the money. You want the title too? The title in the government department. I'll see you another time. 
So now I had to go start over from scratch. So now what do I do from there? But buck it down and get grinding harder. You know what I mean? That was the dirty dozen. That's how they came at us. Bottom line, niggas, you want this money, you want to go to jail. You know what I mean? Any smart man, keep the money. I can make that million back in no time. I can't get back that life sentence they're going to give me for no goddamn million dollars worth of goddamn drugs that they're going to put all types of shit on it. So I had to start back over, but I met an alliance with them and I wanted to make them more money because they gave me a free run to do what I do. I had to pay them when I had to pay them and do what I had to do. But yeah, they got their little money. I got mine. Everybody made their money. Just like dudes don't understand. They say like black dudes, like, like people prey on the community because they say they extort the community. When they say they extort the community, it's not really so much of extorting the community. What it is is you got people in the community the same way you pay taxes to the police. You pay taxes to the government for the police to, to protect you. You pay taxes to the state for the police to protect you. And I'm giving you this game. Y'all pay attention. Don't get lost where I'm at. You pay taxes to all these European government forces to protect you. But they're not doing nothing. So therefore, now they can't do nothing. So now you go through the local gorilla in the neighborhood. And you tell them such and such is doing this and such and such is doing that, such and such is doing that. And then now, all of a sudden, the gorilla tell you, okay, well, you got to pay me X amount every week and I'm going to keep such and such above you. What's the difference with that and the police telling you, you pay your taxes and I'm going to keep your neighborhood clean but then they don't clean it keep it clean but at least you see the lake the the the, the, the local uh, uh gorilla you already see him every day and you just know his presence and know to leave whoever it is that's going to him to leave him alone i don't watch all this so they different type of extortion so you want to know if i've been extorted i ain't never been extorted by no let's get that straight you know what i mean and i ain't talking that cocky shit i'm just talking that real shit i ain't never been extorted by no but them people shoot me down too you better believe they hit my little clungeons. You understand what I'm saying? But the little bit I gave them wasn't nothing compared to what I was able to do. I can't do nothing but keep it real with y'all because y'all deserve that. But that's what it felt like when I made my first minute. Easy come, easy f- go. That's how fast it went, man. I ain't even make it back to the garage to take the shit out. The motherfucker wiped my shit yeah. with it or nothing. You know what I mean? These stinking mothers came and took my little motherfucking million dollars, man. So now I got to start back over, go back and get another 10 keys and flip that, take five to buy 10, buy five to 10, and go back and keep five and start it all back up. But I got back on my feet and did what I did. I didn't let that discourage me. Oh, okay. So you want to know what's a snitch without the paperwork? If a person don't have the paperwork, you can't say he's snitching. You got to have the paperwork. You understand what I'm saying? Because the paperwork tells it all. Because you don't want to put a bad bone on a person. A lot of people don't put a bad bone on a person just because they're really fly together. You understand? Just like me being at everything I, I do, whatever I file, they always put in the computer. They got printed computers now so they can look me up anywhere I go. But if they didn't have that, you have you just trying to lie and say that I have done told something. So that's why you need the paperwork. You know what I mean? No paperwork, no snitch. You understand what I'm saying? Bottom line, you got a free pass until you get the paperwork. When you get the paperwork, then you already know what time it is. What about someone putting the police on someone? Oh, come on. You already know that's ratting. You don't put the police on no one. If you're in the game, you don't put the police on no one, man. But yeah, you don't put the police on no one, man. I mean, and, and the crazy thing is that been going on in the game from way back because uh, the cartels, they started it. They used to do it. You know what I mean? They used to put the police on each other's shipments just to slow down each other's shipments and shit like that. Sometimes they'll put the police on their own shipment just to get their ship, that one small shipment caught so the big joint could go by. So, you know, they, there's all different forms of, of informing the police. Me, myself, I don't agree with none of that. But like I said, that's my belief. So there's going to be plenty of people come on here that say, nah, hell no, you're supposed to tell. Okay, that's on you. You know what I mean? But I don't believe in it. But like I said, man, you know, if you got the paperwork on it, he hot. You don't have a paperwork on them. You don't say nothing until you, you get the paperwork. You diligently work to get the paperwork. We get the paperwork, then that's what it is. But like I said, I'm not disrespecting nobody. I don't care who told on who. I don't care who cat ran away. And I don't care who's screwing who. You know what I mean? I stay in my lane and I mind my business. I see nothing and I hear nothing and I say nothing. Let me give you a good jail story. I'm in the yard and I'm working out. I'm up on the joint. I'm greasy. I'm sweating. Here go. They put these little young, you know, European female, blonde hair, blue eyes, body cut up, looking vicious like she need to be on a, on a beach surfing somewhere. But they got her working. Vicious gap, boom. Then she got on the, the Air Force, I mean, uh, with them joints, the Air Max. All black Air Max looking good. Got the gap shit looking proper. I'm up on the pull up bar. I normally do a little 15 in the set, but now I'm feeling freaky because I'm seeing this old white chick. So now I started hitting 20 in the set, 25 in the set. Now she looking. I see her mouth drooling. So now I play it off and I'm watching her. So I get down. I do my 50 push up. Mm. So I get up. I look at her. I wink at her. And I go back down. I do another 50 push up. So then now I sit there. And then now I'm doing what we call the rolls. The rolls where you keep your body bent and your, and, and, and your hands on the ground. So you push up and you roll up like that. So you push up and you roll up. So now I'm doing that to simulate me rolling up in that cream cheeks. <laughs> Just to let her know this is what it is. So as I'm sitting there watching her, I'm watching her legs start to tapping. 
her leg tapping on the ground. You know, but like I said, so I'm letting the, you know, see the simulation of me hitting it from the back. Old Chopper, you get cut up six pack looking vicious. And she just looked at me, she winked and smiled. You know what I mean? And my man said, yo, son, I think you got her. Yo, you know what time this is unique, the Harlem legend, the icon, the kingpin. Make sure y'all check out my YouTube channel at Unique Maker Audio. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like my joints. Make sure you comment on the joints and make sure you share this joint. All right. Make sure you hit the notification button so you notify when the videos come in. You don't want to miss it. And make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that Unique Mecca Audio got it going on. All right. Hey, make sure you get this joint. It's bananas. A roaring Harlem at a roaring Harlem dot com. You ain't going to find another better book. Yo, get this joint while supplies last because I'm telling you the best book you're going to read. Five stars. It's crack.